Hello guys and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to create a connection between the client and the server. And for case here is just this media browser service compact. So in the last video, we finished up to set up this media browser service compact. So in this video, we want to connect this to our UI. So we are just going to create a connection class that is going to help us to communicate to this media browser service compact. Okay, now we can just come here to our exo player and we can create a new coding class or file and we can just call this media player service connection. Okay, and we want to inject this. And here we basically provide the context. Okay, now this is just a class that is going to be helping us to communicate. So we don't perform a lot of logic here. So basically here we want to create some states that can be easily observed inside our view model. So this class is going to be treated as a black box. So for that case here, now we can just create several states which we want. So for our case here, we are just going to create here a private val. And here, for example, we just want to obtain the playback state. And we can just use here the mutable state flow. And basically here we want to pass in here the playback state compact. And this one is just going to be a nullable type. So for our case here now we can just pass in here to be a mutable state flow. And we can just pass in for the first time here to be null. And for that case here now we can just provide a variable that is going to be observed by the view model. So we can just call this playback state. And this one can take up a state flow. And here basically we pass in here the playback state compact and we call a get function here. And we provide here our playback state. Okay, so we are just going to create another state that is going to help us to know if our our connection has been established between the media browser and our our UI. And for this case here, we can just create a state. So here I'm using a live template so you can just create a live template. I have a video where I'm talking about how you can create this live template here. So we are just going to call this is connected. Also we want to get the current playing audio which we are going to use it to our UI so you can just call this current playing audio. And we can just use here a mutable state of audio. And for the first time here, we're just going to pass in null. Okay, now also we want to create a variable that is going to help us to, cre to create the controller. So we can just create here a let init variable and we can just call this media controller. Now here we have our media controller. Another thing which we want to get here is the media browser service callbacks, which are going to help us to create a connection so that we can understand if we have been connected or not. So we can just create here a private variable. And here we have to create a new inner class here, which is going to help us to get these callbacks. So we can just come here and create a private inner class. And we can just call this media browser connection callback. And here basically now we want to get the context. And this class here must inherit it from the media browser compact. And we can just call this connection callbacks here. And basically here now we can just press control O. And we want to override these three methods here, the on connected, on connection suspended, and on connection failed. Okay, so here we have re received our connection. So we want to check here is connected and we can reinitialize this value. So we can change this to be true because we have already been connected to our media browser. And if otherwise here our connection is suspended, so we can just check is connected here and we can set it back to false. And also here we can just pass in this is connected dot value and we can pass it to be false. Now directly here we can just create here our media service connection callback. And we can pass in here our context. Okay, right now here we can just create another variable which is going to give us the media browser. So we can just call this media private val media browser. 
and basically here now we can just create here our media browser compact and here we can just pass in the context and we want to pass in here the component name and for our case here we can just use this context and we can use the media player service and here basically now we can just pass in here our media service connection callback and here we can just pass in null for a root hint and for that case here we can just call this dot apply and here we can just connect to our media browser okay so now we have here our media browser we want to initialize this media controller so we can just come here when we have just been connected inside this media browser connection callback here so below this is connected value here we can just initialize here our media controller okay here we can just pass in here our callback and also we want to pass in here the media browser and we can pass in here the session token and we can just call this apply and here we want to register the callbacks and basically here now we are just going to create another callback that is going to help us to get the controller callbacks okay now here we can just create another inner class that is going to help us to provide these callbacks so we can just create here private inner class and we can just call this media controller callback and this one's just going to inherit from the media controller dot callback here and here basically we are just going to override three method here the on playback state changed on metadata changed and the on session destroyed so if you want other methods you can just override them okay so here what we want to do here is to initialize our state so here we want to set this playback state here and we can just set equal to the state which is provided by this on playback state here so when n state has changed here our playback state value this one is also going to be changed okay so here we want to get the current playing audio so you can just call this current playing audio because here we are just going to get this on metadata changed so when a user just changes for example clicks another item this method here is going to be triggered so we want to change our current playing audio here so you can just call this current playing audio dot value and we can just call our metadata and sometimes this could be null also we want to get the audio list so that we can easily just get the item which was clicked so we can just create here a simple variable so you can just call this okay so we are just going to change this audio list later time but for now here we can just come to our okay we are just going to use here our audio list and we can use a kotlin find function here and we can just locate here and we can just change this for example here to be data and we can just check here the audio it dot id and we can change this to a string for example and here we want to check this by using this metadata here which has been changed and we can get the description dot media id so we are just going to find this current playing audio item because we are going to check these ids here okay and here we want to when our session has been destroyed we want to call the media browser service callback so that it can easily suspend so we can just call this media browser service callback here and we can call the on suspend and this method here we have defined in a moment here as you can see here we want to set this value back to false so we are just going to call this and our connection has been suspended for this case here because our media session or the media state has been destroyed and here now we can just register our media callback okay now here we can try to define some other variables which we are going to use them so the first thing here which you want we want to get the root media id and we can just easily make this private here and also here we want to get the root media id so you can just call this root media id which we are going to use it to our view model and here we can provide a get function and we can just call this media browser the root id and also here we want to be able to transport the controls so we can just create here another variable and we can just call this transport control 
and here we can just use this dot transport controls and we can also provide here a get function and we can just use here our media controller compact and we can call transport controls which is going to help us to provide the controls okay so i think here we have finished to define several things so the other thing which we want to do is to provide the functions which are going to help us to play pause and do other actions okay so before here we write these functions let's create here a simple extension class that is going to help us in deciding simple things here so we can just call this playback state compact ex extension okay so here we can just create an inline variable and we can just call this playback state here and we can check is playing And this one is going to be of type boolean. Now we can provide here a get function. So we want to check the state if we are just here, for example, in buffering state. Otherwise, we can check also here if we are actually playing. And another thing which we want to get here is the current time or the current position which we are playing. So we can just call the playback state here and we can call this current position. And this one is just going to give us a current position of our item. And basically here now we can just provide a get function here. And we can check here if this is state, for example, we are just playing. Okay, so here we want to get the delta time. And this is just the difference between the first time and the new updated time here. So we can just get here delta time. And basically here we can just use the system clock and we can just get this elapsed real time here and also we can just call the last update position here so this is just the difference in time when we just updated here our our position and this is just going to come in handy in a moment just you're just going to see how we can use it and for our case here now we want to return the position so we can easily get the position by calling this position here but however we cannot just return this position because a player could be going from for, for example playing with a speed from 1.2 1.3 and more so we want also to 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 compensate that time also that's why we have created this time delta here so that we can compensate that playback speed and here basically now we can just multiply by the playback speed and otherwise here we can just call this too long okay so here we have our co our correct position else here if we are not playing so we can just return the position okay so as you have seen here we are just getting this time delta here in order to get the time differences because a player could be playing in a speed for example 1.2 or 1.3 or more so we want to compensate that time which has taken a user to increase the speed so that we can update the position correctly so that's why we are just taking this time delta here and multiplying by the playback speed and also adding this to the position so that we can get the actual time so for that case here we have our position and we can just come back here to our media player service connection here and create these functions okay now here let's create a little room so for case here we want to create a playing audio so we can just create here a function and we can just call this play audio and here basically we can just pass in the audios and this one's just going to take up a list of audios and here basically now we can just initialize our audio list and we can set this equals to these audios here and here now we can just use our media browser and we can send custom action and here basically now we can just pass in our action and we can just call start media player action here so that we can just send it to play and here basically we can just pass in null and here also null so we are just sending here our custom action so for that case here we can just easily play and also here we want to pause our audio we want to fast forward so we can just create here a fast forward so to fast forward here we want to get the seconds so for our case here we can just provide here a default value of 10 and here now we can just use our playback state and we can call this current position here 
and also here we can just let this value here so we want to call the transport control here in order to seek to so you can just call this seek to so for case here we can just provide the current position here and what we want to get here is seconds and in order to transform this we can just multiply by by a thousand so that we can just change it to okay so here we have finished to change our item so also we want to for example rewind so you can just copy this and we can call this rewind and instead here of adding we can just put a minus sign here in order to delete these items okay also here we want to provide a function that is going to help us to skip to the next item and here basically we can just call our transport control dot skip okay also here we want to provide a subscription item so you can just create here a function and we can just call this subscribe and basically here we can just pass in the parent id and also we want to get the callback and this one is we want here to get the connection callback here and what we can do we can just call the media browser and we can call this subscribe and here we can just pass in the parent id and we can pass in here the callback and also we want to provide a function that is going to help us to unsubscribe so you can just call this unsubscribe here and we can just call here unsubscribe also because we are just passing the same items here and here also we can just provide a function that is going to help us to refresh our media and here basically we can just pass in the media browser and we can send custom action and basically here now we can just call the refresh and here we pass in null so i think until now we have finished to create everything here so everything from here we have created and what has remained here is just to create the ui part so for case here in the next videos we are just going to create the view model and also we have to create our ui in jepa compose so in the next videos we are just going to focus on creating this view model and also creating the jetpack compose ui so if you have not subscribed please consider subscribing so that you cannot miss the next videos so for now let's leave it here see you in the next video bye bye for now